This is a DJBooth.net exclusive interview. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Z doing it real big. And joining me inside the DJ booth is a native of Decatur, Georgia, who will release his sophomore album, Blood in the Water, this October. Please welcome one of the most distinctive voices in all of hip hop, DTP's I 20. What's good, Z? How are you? I'm great. How are you, my friend? I'm feeling good, man. I feel blessed. You should. You have a new album coming out. Definitely, man. A lot of people don't get to make it to the second album. I got my second album coming out. I know it's been a while, but I feel good about what I'm doing, and I feel good to be coming back out. It feels good to be back. 20, as we all know, sharks, they smell blood in the water. So would you classify yourself as a shark in this music industry? Ironically, man, it's exactly where I got the title from. I'm not joking. Me and my oldest son was watching Shark Week on the Discovery Channel, <laughs> and they were speaking about how sharks can smell and or taste blood in the water as soon as it comes, and once that happens, they begin to frenzy. So I made it a metaphor for the fact that with my initial album and rapping with Ludacris and Disturbing the Peace, I got a taste of what it's like to be in the music industry, what individual success can be like. And now I'm just prepared for my second album to be a much better artist and give my fans and the audience much better music. And, uh, you know, it's blood in the world. I'm ready to frenzy. You are now the second rapper to tell me that they watch the Discovery Channel. I spoke with Sheik Luch last year, and he said he can't get enough of it. Sheik Luch is a good friend of mine. Hey, let me tell you something right now. There's no shame in watching the Discovery Channel. It is both entertaining and educating. So I'm telling everybody out there, Discovery Channel is the way to go. I'm going to try and put a couple of videos up on the Discovery Channel, see if that can work. Especially in HD. It looks amazing in it HD. Looks Amazing at HD, especially Shark Week. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm addicted to Shark Week. There we go, an exclusive. You just let the whole world know, and I'm proud of you for it. <laughs> 20, after the release of your debut, Self Explanatory, I was finding myself fighting in the club because of you. So. <laughs> After I listen to the brand new album, what do you think I'll be doing? I think you're going to see that there's been a lot of transition. There's still going to be high energy tracks like Fighting in the Club, but this album is a lot more personal. And I think that it has a lot to do with the fact that in between that time from Self-Explanatory and this album, I went through a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of growth, a lot of maturation. My children were growing up. I always tell people I got to see both sides of the music industry. Prior to Self-Explanatory, I got to see the beautiful side how fast the success can come, the amount of money that you can acquire in a small amount of time, award shows, videos, trips, so forth like that. But then between that hiatus and leaving Capitol Records, I also got to see the ugly side. I can also see how fast people can forget about you, how quickly people stop answering their phone, and how much work it is to get back to that previous position. Mm -hmm. So I think that you're going to hear a lot more growth and a lot more of me on this album than you did in the first album. You mentioned trials and tribulations. If you feel comfortable, elaborate personally on what you have gone through over the last four years. Well, I think it's mostly psychological. <laughs> To check out the rest of this exclusive DJ Booth interview, as well as brand new songs, weekly charts, reviews, and much more, log on now, www.djbooth.net.